Okay, so this is the Husky 62 inch five drawer, one door, two foot deep workbench. I didn't see any reviews on this on YouTube. This one, people don't buy this one very often, it seems to me, because I couldn't find it. And they don't stock it. You can't really go in and, and shop for it and see what it's like beforehand. So I thought, well, I'll do a review on it. Because um, the, the price is good. So there's a there's a 10 drawer version of this, about the same size, but 10 drawers. Well, they've added a, a uh, pegboard hutch to it. And now it's like $900. So this one was $530 some dollars after tax and a 10% discount for using my Home Depot card. And um, you could see how it fit in the Yukon. Uh, we had to unpackage it at Home Depot, take the wooden crate off. It came with the casters already installed. The wooden crate lifted it up higher than the casters and then the casters were set inside the wooden crate uh, so that was busted off at Home Depot and then we took all the cardboard off and stuff and and uh, we slid it into the into the Yukon uh, coffin style for four guys helped me slide it in there if you got cardboard uh, it helps to slide cardboard on cardboard into the Yukon and then when you get home if you're by yourself uh, it's easy to slide it out on the cardboard that way so five drawers they're very deep they do fully extend comes with the handle so the handle does install on either the left or the right side which is nice because not all the husky boxes are like that um, then of course you got the keys and then the uh, and then all the drawer inserts come with it so it comes with drawer inserts so these drawers are not soft closed they do almost fully extend I mean there's only a couple of inches that doesn't extend out um, but they seem pretty good they don't seem too flimsy um, they don't seem as good as my other Husky boxes, but this is going to work just fine. And I uh, want to get inside this drawer, this door. Okay, okay, there's no, oh, oh, let's see here. I think there is a shelf. I think there's, yeah, there's an adjustable shelf. I like the fact that this shelf is not built in. I like the fact that this door is flat and the reason is is because there's going to be computers in here. Okay I forgot to mention before some things about this door and this opening that I find pretty interesting. One of the interesting things is is that it fits networking and possibly AV equipment because of the width of this. The width of this is the width of the opening. Now the door does not open completely in an unobstructed way. It obstructs this maybe by about an, a quarter of an inch. So it doesn't swing all the way open and avoid 100% obstruction. So you can't, so the widest thing you can put in this the widest thing you can put in it is 20 and a half, even though the opening on the inside is 20 and three quarters. So you're losing a quarter of an inch because the door doesn't open completely wide and avoid all obstruction. But on the inside, for people that are interested in computers and networking and possibly even audio visual, I'm not sure what the rack size is on audio visual rack mount equipment, but you can fit pieces of this. This is networking racking. It's a piece that I cut off. It's two pieces I've had for a long time. I'm just putting it in here to show you that you can put computer equipment in here. Okay, now how deep is it? It is two feet deep, two feet right to the front of this. So from the back to the front is two feet. And then the door takes up 
an inch. Okay, so you got 23 inches of usable depth on the inside. And why do I have the two by four sitting there? Because if you don't have that type of racking, you can make an a AV rack out of two by and put that in there. And I was going to actually do that but I ended up working out a different solution, so I did not build all that stuff into this like I had originally thought I might, um, and I didn't. I get the heat from the computers out, but um, computers, I can tell computers are gonna fit in there nicely, easily. And uh, when this is all done, I'll show you why I'm not putting the shelf in, so. I guess that part of my review isn't going to be very thorough. I'm not putting that shelf in. Okay, here's a little bit closer look at the drawer extension on this so that you can, you can see what you're getting. You've got a little bit of a lip here, but it's not soft closed, but it's, it's good. You know? There's no access for... Uh, power wires on this side of it into this compartment. It's just solid on this side. You can have a look at the, you know, you got two USB. Okay, so they did the, they did the right angle plug deal on that one. All six wheels are casters, which is not the case with uh, my other Husky that has six casters, does not have six casters. The, my other Husky box, these are mounted straight in the middle and it can make it a little bit weird to try to maneuver around sometimes. So I kind of like the fact that they did six real casters on the bottom show you some of what i'm thinking here so you know these uh these tubs this one here with the purple handle i got it nine for a buck 99 yes it fits uh, with the lid and the latch yes okay so how many of these how many of these fit in here so close so close to fitting all the way in across but not quite how awesome would that have been okay, so and can I fit one more in the back yes okay so another row of those will go in the back okay so this one Okay, so the point is, is that I need to lower this TV stand and I needed to make these steel brackets as an alternate place to mount the casters so that I could get clearance underneath of the Husky tool chest. And you'll see why in a minute. But this is what I did. I used these steel pieces to recess the casters um, another three or four inches lower than it was before. And now it will fit 
underneath of the husky tool chest so that's what all that was about Okay, here it is, the finished project. The Husky 61 inch five drawer is basically a bench in front of this touch screen. So there it is.